Uh, now, more than a year after the loss of the Titan submersible and its five passengers, a team of explorers are preparing to return to the site of the wreck of the Titanic. The mission will see an unmanned craft carry out a detailed 3D scan of the world-famous shipwreck over several weeks. Well, let's cross live to our science correspondent, Rebecca Morell, who is at Rhode Island. And Rebecca, tell us more about what this expedition hopes to achieve. Yes, I'm on the deck of the ship and the sun's just coming up. But the team here have been working through the night to get the last minute preparations for their submersible, for their journey to the most famous shipwreck in the world, the Titanic. Now, I'm joined by John Hammond from RMS Titanic Inc. We're looking at one of the underwater robots here. There aren't going to be any people on board, but tell us what it's going to be doing. Correct. So we have two man, unmanned submersibles, uh, ROVs, if you will. Uh, this one in particular is being affixed with uh, the camera array that will capture extremely high resolution imaging of the debris field and the wreck site itself. The other one will digitally scan so we can pinpoint locations when artifacts are identified and found. And are there any particular areas that you're interested in? Because you're going to look at the whole site, We're aren't you? We're going to look at the whole site. And, and, and the goal here is to digitally preserve the, the wreck site and, and, and map out the debris field because it is deteriorating, right? It's been down there for a long time. And there are still artifacts that we believe exist down there that are at risk of being lost forever. And so it's important that we not only document them for history's sake, and if we can target them for additional recovery, we've re recovered more than 5,000 artifacts already, which are on public display at our exhibitions across the world. Uh, and then some are, are housed in our, in, and cared for by our, our collections team. Um, I just, just on that, I mean, yeah. the, the, you do own the salvage rights to we the do. wreck. I mean, some people argue that this should be regarded as a grave site because so many people lost their lives on the on the tragedy. I mean, what would you say to that? You're not recovering anything this time. This is not a recovery expedition. This is strictly imaging and research. So again, the, the high the high resolution imaging to, to really get a, a sense of the ter deterioration, the state of the site itself. And then also research. Like how's the environment impacting the site itself? Uh, is, it, is it near active fault lines? Are there any things that are putting it at further risk of being lost forever? And at the end of the day, that is the thing. There, there are there are those who, yes, they hold that opinion. We pre and we value their 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 point of view, of course. But for us, Titanic means so many things to so many people, and and it can impact people in so many ways, from a history standpoint, from an engineering standpoint, from a science standpoint. And we want to inspire the next generation of explorers. Now, uh, this is all, all also a poignant trip for the team here because. P.H. Nargiele, who was supposed to be leading this expedition, was one of the victims who died yes. on the Tyson submersible a year a, a, ago. A, but a plaque is going to be laid down on the seabed for him. Yeah, as important as this mission is to the expedition team, it's also very poignant because of, because of the loss of P.H. last year. Um, so they are, the crew I know is, is looking very forward to memor memorializing P.H. In, in a way that is meaningful to them and really just underscores how respected and beloved he was by the Titanic community and the, and the deep sea community as well. And I mean, in terms of items that you will be looking for, I mean, is there anything that stands out? The, the Marconi yeah. room is, is one of the things, the, the, the place where the Telegraph sent out Titanic's distress signal. Yeah, so one of the key things that we'll be able to do after this expedition is compare to our 2010 expedition and look at the, look at the state of deterioration at the ship itself and there, there, there is potential that there is further deterioration in that area of the ship that may provide an unobstructive point of entry to further look at and maybe even recover part of the Marconi. And you're going to have an instrument on board this too, a, a magnetometer. Yes. Now, this is an interesting bit of kit because this is going to allow you to see what lies beneath the sediment. And we don't, that's not been done before, I think. It's, it's not been done before. and and. All the years in, in the seabed and the shifting and the currents, like things have been have been covered. That's that's for certain. We don't know what what might exist down there. So this is a way of, of understanding what could potentially be sight unseen. I mean, they're going to need some good conditions. It's yes. it's not easy operating in the middle of the North Atlantic, but it's going to be 20 days at the at the site. Yeah. Hopefully everything goes well. But the one thing that I know for certain is that this is the best team assembled possible. They are experts in each of their disciplines, and if anyone can get it done, it's this team. And it's going to be taking millions of image, images, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And, and, and also recording hours and hours of footage, too. I mean, yeah. there's bound to be some surprises as well. That's, that's, the, that's 
the second part of the mission is the discovery, right? And that's the exciting part of all of this, is what, looking at areas of the debris field that have not, never been looked at before, and then what might lie within them. And, and, and that's what's important too about this is the custom camera is high resolution, but the lighting ar array as well is customized to, to minimize some of the shadows that you get from flat lighting. Well, John, thank you very much. So it's going to take four days to get out to the wreck site. They're going to spend 20 days there, as we heard. Going to need a bit of luck for things to go to plan, but we will be following the team throughout their expedition and looking forward to seeing what they find. Rebecca, thank you. A beautiful sunset, sunset, sunrise behind Rebecca there. Thank you.